Hi, my name is Jared, and I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. In our video today, we'll be covering how to set up the PCB and PDM integration. In order to begin, first you need to download the appropriate material. You can do so at the website on the screen. As you can see, there are versions for the 2020 and 2019 integration. And you can get to this site by logging into the SOLIDWORKS customer portal, going to your products, SOLIDWORKS desktop, product management, SOLIDWORKS PDM, SOLIDWORKS PCB integration. Once the file is downloaded, you should have a zip file, which you can then right click and extract all in order to create the extracted version. Within this folder, you'll need to run the Dassault Systems SOLIDWORKS PCB Integration 2020.7z.exe. Running that executable will generate these additional folders as well as the setup.exe. Once those have been generated, go ahead and run the setup.exe. On the opening page, choose Install. Once on the opening page of the wizard, click Next to move through the wizard and finish the installation. After having completed the setup.exe installation, double-click the SOLIDWORKS PCB-sample.cex and then you should see the SOLIDWORKS PCB integration add-in. Open up the desired vault and drag drop onto the add-ins node in order to add the add-in to your available add-ins. After the add-in has been added in the administration tool, you can then navigate to your C drive, program files, SOLIDWORKS Corp, SOLIDWORKS PDM, CAD integration. Within that folder you should find an install PCB add-in.bat shift, right click, and run as administrator. Once the .bat file has finished running, you can then launch SOLIDWORKS PCB. You'll notice within your file menu, you now have a SOLIDWORKS PDM option flyout, where you have a number of the basic commands and functionality for integrating SOLIDWORKS PCB with SOLIDWORKS PDM. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.hawkridgesys.com for more knowledge-based material.